Player of the Month SBCs are going to be coming very soon in Ultimate Team. And it's looking very, very good. One, because we've got Vinicius Jr. potentially coming, which is just an absolutely incredible card. We also have uh, League Un. We also have Serie There's actually so many different ones. We're going to try and talk about as many as possible. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to this. And this is also going to influence the prices of SBC fodder. So we're going to discuss that. I'm going to try and keep the video concise. We don't want to rabble, rabble on, but I'm going to be talking about maybe a price prediction. Also, potentially the uh, release date. The release date is very important and just reminding us of how these player of the month cards work. So we all know that if we go to this link here, we've got the voting for each one. Now, for some reason, Serie A isn't included on this. I'm not too sure why Serie A isn't included on this, but I have heard that Quadrado is a decent card that could have a shot. This is Bundesliga. Bundesliga isn't looking too crazy this month from the looks of it. But this is a very nice prediction done by Dave Design. Now, if we take a look at Liga, first of all, Liga doesn't actually have any confirmed nominees. So even though I'm recording this video on the 4th, still there, there are no nominees for Liga. So we're going to have to just go off the basis of this. This is a nice footwiz prediction. And they pretty much collected some of these stats of the uh, best players this month. So maybe uh, Lionel Messi could make it into here. I'm not too sure. He's had uh, quite a few good number of goal contributions as well. Uh, but Mbappe here does look like the favorite from these nominees here. So if this information is accurate, according to Fitwiz, then Mbappe could potentially be favorite. But the fact that we don't even have a vote yet, it would suggest to me that the release date is probably going to be quite a bit away. I would probably say like a week and a half, two, week, two weeks probably. Um because a vote has to happen. I don't think they're going to do it without a vote. Um, it would maybe be a first, but I'm pretty sure a vote is going to be coming. It's just running a little bit late. I don't know why this is slacking a bit behind, but that is what we do know about Liga. Hopefully Mbappe, and that would be absolutely incredible. If I had to give a time on that, <clears throat> I would probably say... Um, we're going to have to look at this monitor here. Apologies for the calendar, but I'd probably say that this is going to be released around the 18th, 17th. By then, we should have foot freeze, but we're going to have to see on that one. Moving on now to Premier League. Premier League, I do not have any cards for you guys, but we do have, again, this Jota prediction. We do also have a another post let me try and pull up the post real quick but obviously we've got the nominees here i think Cancelo could be incredible trent could be really good jota and interestingly they've actually all got team of the group stage cards well Cancelo and jota uh or no Cancelo has a team of the group stage card jota jota doesn't have a team of the group stage card but trent is also rumored uh sort of leaked as well to be getting a team of the group stage card so i do think it is still possible. EA Sports are essentially forced to release it if that league decides that that player is going to be the best one. So for example, with Vinicius as well, moving on with La Liga, I know a lot of you guys are really looking forward to La Liga. La Liga, if he is going to be getting La Liga player of the month, if that is what La Liga, the board, however they decide it, if they think that that is that Vinicius is worthy of it, they're going to give him the player of the month La Liga November award. And then he's going to have to be getting an SBC, a corresponding SBC in Ultimate Team. EA Sports can't just change that. They can't just say, no, we've already given him a team in the group stage and we're going to give it to Depay or something like that. They are forced to give Vinicius Jr. the SBC. Now, he doesn't necessarily need to be 88 rated. EA Sports could give him an 87 rating. So that would make things interesting. Would he be as good? How much is the SBC going to be? I think a fair price for the SBC would be around 500k, 600k. Obviously, that is going to be depending on if he's 87 rated or 88. More realistically, I reckon he's going to be around like 800k or so. But if you take a look at the Salah pricing, I do think it would be fair for Vinicius to be around 600, 650. I think that is sort of the price I would like sort of just look at and be like, oh, I expected that from EA Sports. But obviously, the lower, the better. So if they were to give him at 500 or at 450, I mean, who wouldn't take a Vinny at that price? You know what I mean? So I'm hoping this is going to be a really good card. Uh, it, there is the potential for a two plus upgrade. I reckon, I reckon, boys, it is going to be coming. If we take a look at this monitor again, 
on Friday the 10th. I'm quite confident with this. I would love for it to be earlier. The reason I'm, I'm saying all the way then is because the vote is still open. There is a voting for this. The vote is currently still open. If you go onto the website, it is still open. If we go to Incognito real quick, let me take a look. It is gonna come up as you can still vote. So for a few more days, the vote needs to be here. Uh, once this closes, they're going to be calculating the votes, everything like that, and then they're going to give us the SBC. But keep in mind, the vote is only a very, very low percentage. The vote is only around 10%, 15% from the fans that is that's how much it counts towards this so it really depends on who's actually been playing the best so there are a couple other players um i think this guy has a lot more goals four goals that's quite a lot there is also um this guy he's got four goals as well so you cannot write off those two players here even though in fifa they might not be the craziest cards you cannot write them off because la liga could easily choose them um Vinicius only has two goals but there is the argument it was sort of goal of the month goal of the season so maybe Vinicius is going to be winning it that can give him some sort of an extra boost extra chance of getting that but this came out December 1st so I reckon it's going to be on December 10th that is when I think it is going to be likely uh Premier League I think to be honest is actually going to be the same day I would say I would say maybe on that Friday as well both um on the same day I wouldn't be surprised on that Friday that's generally how the things have been going for Premier League but I do think this is very, very nice. I'm looking forward to this. If we try and go to Criminal FIFA real quick, I think he put some cards together, but I don't know if he's shared them on Instagram. He had them as Instagram stories. Yes, here we go. Wow, this is what I was looking for. Absolutely amazing here. So Trent could be incredible. Bernardo Silva as well, low key, could be a crazy card in FIFA. <laughs> some people have been saying McGinn. So I, I do think the Villa fans, um, but potentially Dennis, I, I, I am really hoping for Diego Jota at center forward. That would be the ideal situation, but that is pretty much it. Um, price prediction on this Jota, if you guys are interested, I mean, there's quite a different number of Premier League cards it could be, but price prediction on the Jota, I would probably say around like 400K, maybe around 400K if it's going to be center forward. I think that would be not a bad of a price, uh, maybe 450, but these are quite expensive. I mean, and that's taking into consideration SBC fodder prices are quite low right now. So it's definitely going to be interesting. I'm extremely excited for this Vinicius La Liga player of the month. Fingers crossed. I hope we do see it, but let me know down in the comments below what you guys think and also who you are hoping for to get player of the month in each league. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.